Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial of Minix OS. Minix OS is a website that lets you create and share Nix and Nix OS configurations. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can control your Mac OS home environment using Nix. A few of the benefits this will give you is that you will get access to Nix packages, which is one of the largest packages that's available. You will get access to Nix modules through Nix Darwin and Home Manager, which gives you advanced configuration options and services that you can enable. And you will get the control and comfort of a reproducible environment. When using MyNix OS, you'll be able to do this without knowing the Nix configuration language. We'll start out by installing Nix on our machine. Now we'll just uh, reset our shell. For the next step, We'll install Nix Darwin, which is a set of Nix modules that you can use to manage your macOS environment. Now we'll just run the results bin Darwin installer. Nope, we'll use the default. We will manage Darwin with Nix channel. And yes, we'll load the configuration as part of our bash and set SHRC shell initializations. So now that we have Nix installed, we're going to start our configuration. So we'll go to mynixos.com, log in, then click create to start a new flake, which is what a configuration is known as in Nix. We'll call it for demo Mac OS. We'll paste a short description and then We'll click uh, Create. So within our configuration, we're going to start out by setting up an output, and we're going to add a Darwin config, which is um, the system level configuration for our macOS system. We're going to select x86-64, since this is what we're on currently, and then uh, click Create. So for this, uh, for this output, we're going to add some configuration options. Uh, so first up, we're going to set Documentation Enable, we're going to set that one to false for Nix Darwin, just to reduce the build uh, necessary. Next up, we're just going to set programs bash enable, just to enable the bash shell via Nix Darwin. We'll set that one to true and apply it to the system level config. Then we're going to set services uh, Nix daemon enable, just to enable the uh, Nix daemon service for uh, for next Darwin. And lastly, we're going to set system state version, which is the version of the state kept by Nix Darwin, just set to 4, which is the default. That's all the system level config we'll need. Uh, next up, we're going to start setting some user level configs. So we're going to add an output, uh, which is a home manager config. We'll call it MyNixOS, since this is our username. And for system, we're going to select the same system, x 64 Darwin. We'll create that one, and we'll actually import it into our Darwin configuration. So we'll just add this import here. And now we're going to set a couple of settings then at the user level within the home manager config. Uh, so we're going to set the programs tmux enable in order to just enable the tmux uh, terminal multiplexer program for our user. So we'll set that one for the MyNixOS output. And then we're going to set home state version, uh, which is the state version for the home manager, to uh, 22.11, just the latest one. There we go. And that's all of the user level system, uh, system settings we'll need. So. Uh, we're actually going to go to inputs now. So we can see that we now have three inputs, Home Manager, Nix Darwin, and Nix Packages. These have all been inferred based on the output configuration that we have set up. We're just going to click Update All to lock these inputs to exact versions. Using this lock information, we can now set up a couple of follows directives to avoid having different versions of Nix Packages within our configuration. Uh, so we're just going to select the input paths. So we're going to do Home Manager, Nix Packages. We're going to set this one to follow Nix Packages. And then we're going to add another follow and set uh, Nix Darwin, Nix Packages, also to Nix Packages. 
This is just to make sure that we're not using three different versions of mix packages within our configuration, um, but that we instead reuse the same version of mix packages. This is to ensure um, a consistent configuration. So now that we have set up these follows, we can go to versions, click release to create a release. And now we have a released version that we can actually install. So we're gonna go to meta and we're actually gonna copy this last one for number three here. So just Mac OS uh, number three, we're gonna copy this one. This will let us install the uh, flake loader to our system. Now we're gonna install the flake loader enter the flake loader directory and build the Darwin configuration. Then we're gonna remove the existing etc nix nix.conf previously installed by the nix installer and instead use the one applied by our system configuration. So we're gonna do results bin Darwin rebuild, switch, flake, NixOS. This is going to apply our system configuration as described by this flake. Now we're just going to make the um, shell from Nix allowed by uh, Mac. So we're just going to add this to etc shells. And then we're going to set the current shell to the bash enabled by Nix Darwin. Now we're just going to restart the shell. So our environment is now successfully controlled uh, using Nix. We can test this now by running, for example, tmux. And we're now running the tmux set up by the Nix configuration. Next up, we're going to show how we can update the Nix configuration. So we're actually now going to enable a new service called DNS mask. and we'll enable this for the Darwin system. And then we're gonna to go to addresses and we're gonna set up a mapping between XKCD and the string and apply this to the Nixos, to the Darwin configuration. So uh, after setting these two new options, we're just gonna re-release our flake So we'll make sure we're inside the flake loader directory. We're just going to run nix flake update. This will update to the latest released version. And now we're going to run uh, Darwin rebuild switch flake nix OS. This will update our system to the latest uh, Darwin configuration. The cool thing now is that we have now enabled the new DNS mask service. So if we now try out ping xkcd. That is actually resolving via the DNS service that we just set up. So we've now shown how we can enable a program, uh, the tmux program, as well as a service, the DNS mask service, using the macOS uh, configuration that we've set up via MyNixOS and Nix. Thank you for watching.